Welcome back friends to Average Joe's Barbecue. On today's episode, we're going to be doing avocado bombs. And if you've never had this before, this is an absolutely delicious recipe your whole family will enjoy. So if you are new here and you like what you see, please consider hitting that like and subscribe. Let's jump right in. Welcome back. To get started, we just need a few key ingredients and this will be very simple, very easy to do. So. Here I have two avocados sliced in half. I have about a pound of ground chuck. I have a few cubes of sharp cheddar cheese. I have bacon and salt, pepper, and garlic. Now, you can use any kind of seasonings you like to season your uh, ground chuck. Uh, I, prefer, I prefer to keep it simple, you know, uh, salt, pepper, garlic is what I prefer to use, but if you have a favorite rub that you like to use on your burgers or whatnot, by, by all means, use what you have. So we're going to go ahead and just start seasoning our meat and get this worked in. So we're going to go ahead and add our salt, and you can go ahead and add season to taste, obviously, then our pepper, our garlic. We're just going to work that in there. You want to make sure you get it all worked in, every piece and every bite to have flavor and taste uniform to the rest of the meal. Okay, once you have it worked in, like I said, this is about a pound. And we got two avocado bombs we're going to be doing today, so we're just going to split this in half. And we're just going to lay it out flat, like that. We're going to take our avocado, and we're going to put one or two pieces of cheddar cheese in the center. And then we're going to close it up, like that. And then we're just going to roll this brown chuck over the avocado itself. You want to make sure it gets all the way covered. You don't want any holes or anything. Now this will shrink up a bit um, like, uh, like all ground beef does when you cook it. So a little bit showing on the final product is fine, but this is where it pays if you put a little extra time and attention into it at this point save you a lot of time in the future. So there's one. We're going to do the same thing to the other one. Roll that on there. Once you get that done, it should look something like this. So now we're going to wrap it in bacon. And for the bacon, I prefer to use the thin cut bacon. I've done this both ways with thin and thick cut. Um, for as far as it goes as cooking time and uh, actually texture when it's finished, I found that the thin cut bacon works a lot better for these types of recipes. So that's what I prefer to use. And it's no, uh, there's no tips or tricks for this. It's like wrapping anything you would with bacon. You just want to take it out and just wrap it around. And use your discretion on how much you want to use, depending on the size of your avocados and the size of your bacon, kind of dictate how much you need to use. But I just try to get more or less of it, most of it covered. As 
you can see the bacon is sticking to itself pretty well. So no need to use toothpicks or anything with this. And there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and get the second one done. Just like the other one, make sure we get most of it covered. That is looking pretty good. So that's what you should have when you're done. So let's jump on over the smoker. I'll see you over there. Welcome back, friends. So we're here at the grill today. Today we're going to be using our uh, Gorilla Grill Silverback. We're going to be running it at about 225, and we're going to be using skeet pellets for these. Um, so let's go ahead and throw it in there. All right, so you should plan on an hour, hour and 15 minutes or so. We got ground beef and bacon to cook in this, in this uh, recipe. So plan on that, but we'll come back in about 45 minutes and see where she stands. We'll see you in a minute. All right, friends, welcome back. It's been about 45 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and give this season a check. check it again. See you soon. Welcome back friends. It's been about 30 more minutes so we're gonna go ahead and give these things a look. friends we have these things pulled and we are going to give you guys the big reveal so let's go these things look and smell amazing and these were very easy to do so let's go ahead and cut through the middle look at that does not look fantastic like I said, folks, this meal was incredibly easy. It doesn't take much time to do, and I guarantee your family will love this. So if you like what you saw in this video today, please hit the like and subscribe below. Otherwise, folks, I will see you next time. Take care.